Hey, what is going on everybody? Boylon here and welcome to my Cosmic Crucible Tournament 32 video. Now this is going to be round one. Why am I here on uh, my roster page? Well, uh, <laughs> to be honest, I just saw this offer and I thought it was kind of funny because they talk about Wakandans and the Vibranium Tuning Room, which is not a thing right now because of the tournament, but I guess it's going to be coming back of course in season three so there is that anyways uh let's get on to that because i'm doing this kind of late at least this is late at night which is why i don't have my video on and uh, we're gonna be doing our first match and uh this is what we have to go up against there's a few i, I don't expect all of them to be really that difficult but there's a few of them that i'm kind of curious about uh namely well they kind of ignored this one so that's just rebirth on the defense i'll Probably use my Death Seed though. Death Seed is also good at taking out uh, Underworld. Uh, there is this one, which is Invaders. And I guess that's relying on Nick Fury's summons to do more, but that being said, I've never actually fought Invaders, but I, I think that Death Seed also works on them too, because they're not. Cle well, as I say, they're not cleansing, but uh, I think because Cap defaults to his ultimate, I'm pretty sure, on turn one, rather than the special. And then we have two particular teams, and I think this is going to be the most compelling, is Gamma on Health Insurance Room 5. I'm seeing a lot of people use Gamma on Defense in Room 5. Uh, what I have is Masters of Evil and or a Gamma Mirror Match, and I want to see how that goes out, depending on which one works. And then we have Room number 6 overcharged with Eternal's Tangled Web. And uh, I mentioned in the blog post video that this is something that I was considering doing myself and just ignoring the Tangled Web Rune, but I'm kind of curious how it does play out, how mine plays out anyways. And just to share what my defense currently is, I don't know if it's... I showed this in my other video yesterday morning. Uh, I don't know how effective this is necessarily going to be. Uh, specifically, the uh, Darkhold Nick Fury thing, this might work out. And then, obviously, I want to see what happens with this, the Web of Destiny room here. Um, I, maybe I can replay this later on, you know, once we get the, the full, the full stuff, you know, once, once I see the matches, uh, and then infinity watch and this version of overcharged, I don't know. So I guess I can't really mirror match this one on their side. So I haven't quite thought about it before starting up this video, what exactly I'm going to do, but I think we're going to start with room five and then i'll find out if i screw myself over by not having something to kill this later so if you're ready to go everybody let's boil this down okay so right off the bat we're gonna try masters of evil now i have been told that because of the mass healing and actually the removal of buffs by Ma uh, masters of evil positive effects being removed that this might actually be challenging for them. So if this doesn't work, I'm going to try uh, Gamma, I think, as a mirror match. And I guess this will clear them up if I don't end up winning. But it's a big punch up. It's like 300k uh, because my Star, not Starfire, uh, Moonstone. My Moonstone is not that powered up. And they have, you know, a really high powered G17 Red Hulk. So I'm not 100% sure how this is going to go down. But we're going to play this anyways and find out. I think this one in Room 6 are probably going to be the hardest ones in this matchup so that's kind of what i want to share with you guys here today and uh, i'm kind of curious how your guys go and let me know if you see anything absolutely crazy in the comments down below like just let me know if you've seen some team comps that just really surprised you uh in the tournament so far so this is the first matchup here <sighs> let's see you know and honestly this okay yeah, so I'm starting to lose buffs <laughs> on my turn. So Titania lost her buff. Uh, we could do an ability block. And of course, this does an extra ability block. But I'm concerned about She-Hulk. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know. Uh, I don't really want to trigger. I'm going to go over here with the ability block. But, you know, I really, we don't really want She-Hulk to chuck stuff back. And that's a small problem. So what I'm going to do over here is... I'm going to try. I don't have the defense. I don't have my buffs. I'm not because I'm not keeping my buffs, which is kind of annoying. I'm going to see if I can take She-Hulk down before she tries to chuck negative effects back. Uh, that's the, kind of the goal. Unfortunately, uh, here. Uh, stun, speed bar, uh, disrupt trauma. I'm going to keep that one, so I, I really wanted to kind of put it here on Brawn, but I, I think I'm going to try and stun She-Hulk so she doesn't start chucking stuff back. 
So she's kind of out of the picture for a little bit while we deal with Hulk here. And as you noticed, you know, I guess my characters are healing as a result on their turn. But yeah, I'm just, you know, Ultron's losing all his buffs, so he's not getting any energy back. And that really, really sucks. Uh, don't like that part. They are healing, of course, as a result, but I'm not really keeping my buffs for my turn, which is kind of the crappy part. And Moonstone's dead. That was not good, and I was not expecting that one bit. Let's see if we can get some big damage here with Kang's ult, of course, with no offense up. So we did manage to get She-Hulk down. That's a plus. But this is definitely going a little bit differently. <laughs> I'm just going to get Brawn out of the way. And I don't really want to, like, start attacking Red Hulk unless, you know, I can do some big damage. And I don't know who that's going to come by. Um, probably Kang. You know, he's my best bet there on some... Oh, yeah, big damage. Okay, maybe we can get him dead. Oh, come on. Red Hulk's down. Okay, so I think we, we beat it. But we lost Moonstone. My Moonstone's probably the squishiest character on my team. So I think at this point we can just auto it. And that's a win. Of course, that does mean that I don't have my Masters of Evil for room six. I do have Gamma, but and I don't have Apocalypse. <laughs> so I'm not really sure how I'm dealing with Tangled Web in general. They don't have the you know the, the huge bonuses uh, with the Tangled Web Eternal team, but I I might need to two tap it. I do have unlimited X Men, but I am pretty sure. That doesn't work, does it? No, I don't think it does. It's been such a long time since I've just attacked standard. And keep in mind the ultimate abilities. So they're not going to have their special, but you know they'll still have all their main abilities. You know, um, Spider-Man twenty ninety nine and and Spider Weaver. Those are the most annoying things. So th their specials don't really matter that much. It's more about the alts. And I don't know if I can really go before them. With uh, I, th I think I'm going to have to two tap this. I think I'm kind of. I think I screwed myself a little bit. Uh, I'm going to use. Death Seed for this. I've always used Death Seed when it comes to countering Rebirth. And I think, honestly, unless the Rebirth team gets super buffed with that Season 3 room, I think this will work just the same as well. So I'm kind of just whittling the teams down and kind of thinking about it a little bit more before I go into tackle room number 6. I'm thinking that I could probably do room 6 with Unlimited X-Men once I, well, maybe not actually, because I did talk about how that might be a little bit of a pain in the ass with Rogue not being able to use her special, so maybe not. Uh, I, we're going to have to see how that works with not having the specials available for certain characters, and that, that maybe end up being uh, really tough. And, and that Eternals team may end up, or the Tangled Web team might end up being some of the best teams for that room. You know, I have them on defense as well, but I'm not exactly sure how I'm equipped to, to deal with that yet, so we'll see. All right, come on. Captain Carter gets hit by a bunch of counters. That's fine. U.S. Agent sucks a lot. His damage is terrible. Hopefully Nemesis clears out. Yes, he does. And it's pretty much GG over there. We just need to get over to Winter Soldier there. Yeah, and everyone just kind of died. <laughs> That's why Death Seed is a really good offensive counter for a lot of these teams. Rebirth is one. Underworld is another one. Uh, they just do really well with their blinds, and they just clean up. So really like having them. And, and honestly, you probably want to be more offensive than defensive. i just going to have to put some thought into that room six. I think that's going to be the most challenging here today. Uh, Bionic Avengers. We're going to... Now, this Invaders team. So we got Unlimited X-Men... Gamma, Weapon X. I'm not sure if Weapon X is honestly equipped to deal with that. I have my own Bionic Avengers. I That's not going to work very well because they put up a lot of counters and Bionic Avengers is going to get their ass kicked. Uh, I, I have some invaders, but I don't have the entire team. I also have like a three-man New Warriors team, but I, I don't really know what to use in those positions. So uh, let's see. Not Bionic Avengers. I do have Dormammu. I do have Undying. Um, I haven't come up against Invaders very frequently. I do have this, the Secret Avengers. I don't think that's going to work. I, you know, actually it might because of the 
It's a Kestrel. Maybe we should just completely ignore the fact that Kestrel... <laughs> uh, they completely ignore the Nick Fury summons and just use Kestrel. Now, who else should I use in this position, though? Is what I'm wondering. Uh... Uh, I was thinking about Dr. Doom because we might get a chance to see strength in numbers, actually. Let's see if this works. Now I'm going to squad save that. I like that they have tons of buffs, which means that Shang-Chi is going to really kick them in the face. I love using Shang-Chi on the offense because he does hit still really hard, uh, despite being a pretty old character now. Uh, because he gets so much additional damage on his alt uh, per positive effect. But his hit points is kind of low-ish for this time period in the game. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of buffs. We're going to cancel that, so that's not going to happen. And actually, I'm surprised they don't have more buffs than this, personally. Uh, we're going to try and just you know get Nick Fury down, but also get Iron Fist down, because I don't want him doing a lot of stuff. Uh, there's only one buff, which is a little bit disappointing. I thought they would have more. But yeah, wow. Oh my god, Shang-Chi is just cleaning up. Uh, <laughs> that was a bit unexpected, personally. Wow, all two of them dead, three of them dead. Oh, no, yep, three of them dead. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. Good lord, I didn't even need Doom. What a waste. Okay, well, Secret Avengers, Shang-Chi, could clean that up on their own. And Kestrel. Good to know. Complete waste of my Doctor Doom. Hopefully I don't need him later. <laughs> Uh, that team is also really good at cleaning up Bionic Avengers as well. And so now that I don't have that, uh, I guess what I could do is I could do a Bionic Avengers, maybe a Bionic Avengers mirror with a speed boost? Uh, I, 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 do I have Emma? I think I do. Uh, I might be able to get rid of, maybe if I use Cable instead of Iron Man? Am I going to hit myself later if I don't have Emma? No, I don't have Emma. Oh, Emma was on my defense. Crap. So let's see if I can do... Because I don't like flipping. I don't like the, the coin toss flip. So let's do Cable. Where are you, Cable? And I'm hoping the loss of Iron Man doesn't end up hitting me in the face. This is still me punching down slightly. But it gives me the speed advantage that I'm looking for, so it's not a mere, complete mirror match. Uh, I am losing a bit of damage, and of course, once they take their turn, I'm going to absolutely get wrecked. Uh, Cable's going to get wrecked, rather. And so I'm going to lose some efficiencies there. But, maybe, just maybe. Oh, I forgot! <laughs> Cable's already dead. Wow, okay. I forgot about the, the, the room buff. Oh my god. All these bleeds. Ugh, look at all oh my god look at all those bleeds who's gonna die first that's the biggest question i think so we're gonna but we're gonna flip this you know what i'm actually oh wait i can't ability block her right because she is this in raids i thought she clears is that a vi maybe that's on visions passive oh god i don't remember we're just gonna go in for the blind so many regens. So many regens. Are they going to survive, though? Maybe here. Get barrier. It's going to help, and but but then that's going to happen, and then my character's going to get hit. Oof, oof, big oof. Big oof. Maybe not having Iron Man is actually, you know, having Cable on there really didn't do a ton. Uh, let's go for the ability block on this side so we can maybe get some more damage on... Viv. Oh, God. Nope. Nope. I got screwed. Okay, mirror match was not helpful. It's possible that this could have just screwed me in my match today. Who would have thunk it that it was Bionic Avengers that was my downfall? Probably doing a mirror was a little stupid. On retrospect. Uh, so I do have three teams left. I do have <laughs> Unlimited X-Men, Weapon X. Maybe even Weapon X would have been better, actually. We have Dormammu in here as well. Maybe that would have been uh, helpful. 
and uh, yeah, Wep- so Unlimited X Men Gamma Weapon X Dormammu Undying Dormammu actually, and uh, a New Warriors trio. I just don't know how the New Warriors trio plays out against any of these characters. Um, it definitely no, it doesn't work here. So what we could do is use, and I don't think they do very well against Taskmaster, frankly. And Blind does absolutely nothing to these guys. But... Ah, fuck. Okay, so we're going to go with... We're going to go with... Oh, I don't have Hella. Crap, so I can't use Zombie Iron Man. Mmm, that's a small problem. We're going to go with these three. <laughs> and Dormammu. Ooh, this, seem, uh, this seems like a colossal waste. And I know there's going to be people in the in the comments section. That, you know what? We're going to go. We're going to break this up. We're going to do uh, Lady Deathstrike. And we're going to do uh, Omega Red. We're going to do this five. I think that Lady Deathstrike's quite fast. She's one of the best characters on the Weapon X team. And as far as my characters that are geared, I think this might do something. And obviously the trauma and ability block that is given by uh, Omega Red when he takes his turn. So I'm hoping for the best in this one. I think I really need to save that Dormammu for uh, room number five. So right off the bat, you know, I really, really want to go after to Viv, to be honest. Viv or Deathlock. And then we're going to go across the, you know, across the room here and start clearing that defense up. Ooh, big damage. Not quite enough. And we're kind of stuck, but oh, could we kill Viv, maybe? Oh, Viv died. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, and we cleared... And we cleared Deathlock, so that's that's pretty GG there, right there, I think. Yeah. Wow. Good game. Uh, that might have been a little bit overkill, to be honest. Okay, so that leaves us with two rooms. I screwed up the first time I learned my lesson on Bionic Avengers, and that was a real painful loss for me, frankly. What I don't know is what's going to happen here. I think I need to do a sack team, but I don't really want to sack... I don't know. I don't know who to sack with. That's that's the thing, and I... I <laughs> um... I think what I want to kind of... I'm thinking Unlimited X-Men Dormammu is where I want to be, but in terms of who I want to use first, or just try even, I'm not sure. I, I almost want to just try Gamma and see what happens, but I know that once Spider Weaver gets off her charges, they're not going to do anything, and so that's that's a big issue there. I might I might do a sack. I don't even know. What, what, what can I sack with, actually? I think I'm going to do this on a two-tap. Uh, I'm going to use some characters. I, I, I don't know. I'll throw my invaders in there. What's left of them. And uh, do that. I, I'm not confident that I can one-tap this, personally. I don't think th th that these guys are going to do anything. But, you know, hey, you never know, right? <laughs> you use Scarlet Witch for, for shits and giggles. Should have used Captain Carter, maybe. that Actually, Captain Carter might have been able to do something in there. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, we're going to see... I want to see how this plays out, how this room plays out as well. Because this is going to be the big one. Um, without a doubt, they're all going to alt. You know, I'm almost certain of that. And I'm going to be going walking into charges, actually, as well. And so maybe that's not a good thing, now that I think about it. They're all going to alt. But can I die? Maybe I sh it should have been better if I, like, died before Spider Weaver even used her alt. But... Now there's going to be the charges, and 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 we're dead. <sighs> you know, I, I'm really afraid that I might not be able to beat this room, and it'll be very apparent because I don't think that now now that I'm thinking about it a little bit more clearly, that unlimited X Men not having the rogue taunt is going to be really bad. I mentioned this before. And I may end up having to skip this room. I I don't know if Masters maybe Master maybe I should have used Masters of Evil actually, but Masters of Evil don't typically clear this. 
I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments down below if you ran into this and what you've used. My issue here is, I'm going to put Dormammu in here, is I don't know if this, I don't know. Round one is just a, a complete mystery bag of trial and error for me. As you guys know, I'm not the I'm not the, the smartest when it comes to Cosmic Crucible. Uh, you know, I am trying to think ahead a little bit, but at the end of the day, I only play in like the Diamond League, and I'm not I'm not in the Masters. We're gonna see how this plays out now, and I think it's gonna be pretty bad actually, because Spider Weaver has charges, and I forgot that carries over into different battles, and so I'm kind of effed here. But they don't aren't gonna use their special. This is unavoidable, so that's one thing. Hiya. Okay, so at least that did something. It almost killed Spider-Man uh, Noir, actually. And this is unavoidable. So let's stun Spider Weaver. Oh, Noir's down, so maybe this might actually do something. Oh, wait. She doesn't lose her charges when she's stunned, does she? Oh, that doesn't matter. She got... Uh, she got her stun cleared. That's not very good. But maybe Dormammu. We have like a two ability energy. Oh my god. But it's not going to do anything other than I can flip <laughs> the T-buffs. But it's going to miss. Maybe this might... I don't know. Look at that. A three cooldown gambit move. Oh my god. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter, right? I'm going to miss everything. But I can use this. So maybe... Oh, she almost got wrecked. And she's still got slow. So the question, and that's unavoidable too. Oh, maybe, just maybe, we can get her with unavoidable attacks. I don't know, now she's stack, stacking back up though on her skills. Um, I'm afraid of, of the Eternals popping off as well, and I, I, yeah, that was not good. Not good, not fun. Oh my god, not fun. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, everyone slowed. Not good. And I didn't even really get to kill anyone important. You know, if we were able to kill, like, one of the Eternals, that would be really, really good. But we haven't, and so that's super not good. We got, did get a revive until she just got wrecked. Rogue still has a revive. She's going to... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Holy crap, guys. This is insanity absolute insanity i probably did not choose the best team that's on me but yeah i i i don't know i don't know don't know i don't think gamma this is going to be my last shot and i honestly i'm not sure how big of a deal those two characters make um if I can't beat them with Gamma, I'm just going to throw Gamma onto the other... Fuck. On the other... Uh, this one here and get that done. I don't know. Would any of my defense teams would have made a difference in that regard? I don't think so. I mean, I'll, yeah, right? <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be... If, I guess I won't know until match two's already started here. You know what I should do with this? Should I put this on 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 this too? Because that's absolutely bonkers, and just say screw the web of destiny room. I don't know how good that's going to be, but the combination of tangled web and eternals is just absolutely bonkers. I don't know if I would have had any other characters that could deal with this. So we're gonna go. I, I don't think I have anyone I can use that's better at this point. So we're gonna try this. If this fails, I'm just gonna use them on uh, the. Underworld team and call it in a day. And uh, I don't know uh, what we're going to do differently. Uh, i probably try Masters of Evil. I think that would have... And I would have been able to clear Gamma possibly with a Gamma Mirror match instead. That's kind of what my thoughts are. And I, I didn't really get a chance to try that. So obviously this is going to miss. We're not going to be able to use our special. Probably wouldn't matter anyways. But we don't have a revive. So that sucks. Everyone's getting turn bar rewind. I kind of expect some of this. They're still surviving, though, and I got some additional charges with Red Hulk for the moment. For what it's worth. Gonna try and just, you know, kind of avoid Spider Weaver, but kill, kind of try to kill the charges if possible here. Ugh. Good, good God. Nope. Bronze dead. So that's not great. Uh... 
Oh, right, we're still missing. Okay, can we... Oh! Oh! Now, how long does that last? No, she shook it off, because of frickin' Icarus. Great, thanks, Icarus. We're almost to five charges, though. God, that did, like, nothing. Are we, are we at five, five charges for... Oh, my God, are we, are we gonna get the trauma on? Whoa! Come on! Come on! Oh! Oh my god! Oh no! Screw you! In your charge! Oh my god! We go we did it! Are we gonna do it? Oh my god! I think we're gonna do it! Oh, we did it! We did it, guys! We did it! Oh my god! I think I got lucky. I think I got lucky. I think I got really lucky on this time. We managed to clear it. Oh, but now what do I have for the, the Underworld team? They're not that tough, but like I don't know if I have much left, frankly. You know what? We might be able to use Bionic Avengers, actually, but I'm not sure. I think that's literally all I have left. Should I get rid of them for Scroll Girl? Um... They're all unavoidable attack. You know what? Let's let's try. I don't remember. The, they what room are we in again? Oh, this is the uh, the buff thing with fortifier. Who, who who's spreading buffs? Normally you see like a Zemo or something in here for them, but because uh, he's fast. This is a full underworld, I think. So who's fortifier? Who do they give fortifier to? Oh, I lost my defense up on, on my character. So that's kind of bad. They just... Oh my god. They just need to survive. Are they going to survive to get to Viv's turn? I forget the turn order here. We need to flip this. ASAP. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Viv goes first. Uh, I just have to hope that nobody dies. And there's a lot of assists. Um, I think I'm going to die. From some counters. I probably will. Good lord. Okay, well, we, we need to kind of blind these guys. We blinded Taskmaster. That's positive. Okay. That's fine. We're in it to win it. Okay. Yep. Oh. He's ability blocked, I guess. Oh, I should have ability... Oh, shit. I should have ability block Mr. Negative. Uh, that's my bad. Oh, my God. That that cost me, actually, <laughs> by not ability blocking him. Uh, well, we won. Uh, unfortunately, so we, we did full clear. That's good. Uh, that room six was really nasty. So what did I learn? I learned that... That setup is really rough, and uh, maybe I should have tried to use my Masters of Evil a little bit better here. Uh, I, I don't know how I'm going to change my defense, <clears throat> because I don't know how well it performed. So I'm going to have to let this run for a second time, and I don't really know, uh, you know how, how the outcome is going to be. So we're going to be doing two matches, I guess, with this setup. And then by the third matchup, which is going to be on Sunday, I'll probably have another video out talking about it. That way I can see what's worked and what hasn't. And maybe do some replays as well, because I heard that's a feature now uh, that we can take a look at our own replays of the results. So that's there. Uh, I don't need to replay my own stuff. But I would be interested in seeing if there's replays on defenses that might show up sometime tomorrow. That's going to be the end of the video, everyone. Have a great Saturday and hope you're having fun with the Cosmic Crucible Ultimate 32. Let me know in the, co uh, the comments down below kind of what's most surprised you. What teams that you've come across that are kind of some of the most challenging that you've seen so far. And what you've been doing to deal with that. So I'd like to know all that and more. And until next time, everyone, stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out. And good luck.